NBC5 News at 6 starts now. A local man was murdered this past week, and now the family is speaking out. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on NBC5 News at 6. I'm Demetrius Gamble. The family of a man murdered in Grant's past last week is sharing there why they think it was premeditated. NBC5's Maximus Osborne has the family's perspective in our top story tonight at 6. 23-year-old Jonathan Davis Jr. was shot and killed by Kiernan Fucci early Tuesday morning, February 6th, in Grants Pass. And his parents, Celeste and Jonathan Davis Sr., are the ones left to pick up the pieces. You know, I, we're the ones that lost it. You know, I never get to hold my baby again or touch his face or tell him I love him. And that's really hard. Davis Jr.'s parents describe him as someone who had a big heart and looked out for his family before his death. Fucci was the one who called 911, and police arrived to his apartment on Park Plaza, finding Davis Jr. dead. Fucci was taken into custody and charged with second-degree murder and unlawful use of a weapon. He was arraigned by a judge the next day, for he pleaded not guilty. What I believe is that he turned himself in to get leniency, so he wouldn't get too much, you know, harsh crime, it would look good on himself. That's why I think that he, this was planned. If it was an accident and if it wasn't planned, one would be completely so, he'd be so distraught, distraught you know what distraught. I mean? Celeste Davis says that she was able to listen to the dispatch the night her son died. She says she heard that Fuji placed the gun on a counter and calmly gave himself up. I, I truly believe that this was premeditated. I just wish I had got up and knew as a mother, knew there was something wrong, I would have rushed there and I would have, I would have taken him away from there. <laughs> Davis Jr.'s mom told me that Fuji was living with his ex-girlfriend, the girl that Jonathan Davis Jr. was seeing, which is why her son was frequently visiting Fuji's apartment. And she's convinced that Fuji was jealous of her son and that's what led to his murder. I'm telling Jonathan he wanted to go spend the night. I was like, Jonathan, that's not a situation. That, that, that is... That man's home with his children and the, his baby's mama. I go, it's not a good situation. I go, he will kill you, honey. Please. And he tells me, oh, mom, you're just being paranoid. She says she knew something was off and that the animosity between the two was growing. A week before this, um, he called and said he wanted to come home. And so we were going to get him. And then he was like, no, no, never mind, never mind. You know, and normally I would have said, no, never mind, doesn't work with me. And I would have went and got it. I didn't. Now a few days removed from the incident, Davis Jr.'s parents are focusing on healing, but still have their eyes set on justice. I'm hoping, <coughs> I'm hoping that he gets it for life with no chance of parole until after my daughter is dead. I don't know if there's going to be retaliation. A painting done by Davis Jr.'s sister, who says her brother always looked after her. The Davis family wants to remind everyone to cherish your loved ones and never ignore potentially dangerous situations that they might get into. In Medford, Maximus Osborne, NBC5 News.